Hey everyone, welcome to White Falcon Plays. Today we're going into Across the Obelisk. This is a co-op RPG deck building game. So today we're going to do the single player aspect, but maybe in the future we can do a multiplayer hit of it. Uh, new patch has come out, version 0 0.8.0. So it's still in early access, but it um, seems to be in quite a finished state. Let's have a look and see how finished it is. Okay, single player game. Choose a game mode. We can only do adventure mode. Discover new characters, unlock cards, and fight evil bosses in this roguelike adventure. Sinethia. Create new game. How it happened, you ask? It was during the princess's 16th birthday. Everyone was in the courtyard anxiously waiting for her. She was going to be introduced, inducted, sorry, into the Wizard Academy. An honor reserved for those who show aptitude and she really had a gift. Suddenly, an explosion emerged from the princess's chamber, followed by a burst of energy that swept through the kingdom of Senethia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hansheek, the court magician and advisor to the king. The king sent soldiers throughout the kingdom, but none of them returned. The last thing he heard was that their trail was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries until now. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing that he would reward anyone who brought the princess home safely. The news quickly spread through the kingdom, and many groups of adventurers prepared to venture into the forest and investigate the obelisk to find the princess. This is the story of one of those groups. Act 1. Okay, cool little map. Got some fire going on up here. Uh, we are Magnus. Level 1, 100 health, 15 cards in our deck. And maybe Regnold, 61, 7 health. And also 15 cards in our deck. We've got 300 coins, 300 crystals zero supplies and zero things in our backpack that doesn't sound very good for going off on an adventure all right on to the first fight straight into it two werewolves energy management and cards you can cast cards until you run out of energy when you pass the turn the energy that hasn't been used will be accumulated for the next turn of this hero. Okay. This box shows the available targets, front mustard only. If there are multiple targets for a card, you have to select which one will be affected. But if there's only one, releasing the card will automatically select it. Okay, what do we got? Gain 14 armor. That seems pretty decent. Intercept. Prevent one damage per charge. Remove all charges at the end of round. Okay. Deal 9 damage or 5 plus bleed for 8. Hero. So we could intercept someone else from getting damaged. I think that's what they mean here. We have no idea what they're going to play. We'll just do a bleed on the front guy. Bam. Um, hopefully they target the front person. This guy might range, but we'll gain a bit of armor. That's a free intercept. There we go. And we'll do nine damage to the front. In turn. Monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movement in anticipation. 16 damage my goodness the speed and character order all characters have a speed value which can be modified by cards items or traits that value establishes who moves first and in case of a tie the closest hero to center will have priority interesting he's blessed damage done and healing received plus one nice all right, 19 damage. We can apply and see what people are doing. Three, reveal one card per charge. Remove one charge at the end of turn. 
Well, he's about to die. That was a bit silly. 16 damage. Whoa. He's not about to die, is he, though? All right. Knock him. We'll heal ourselves. And we'll save the rest of our ability points. Oh, yeah. He's got bleeding. So he will die next turn. But he will be doing another 16 damage. When does he go? After this guy. Is bleed at the end of turn? At the start of the turn? Okay. Is that the turn or his turn? I'm confused there. Oh, it's only the front monster again. Okay. We're going to have to kill him anyway. Uh, we've only got two AP left. Um, but we got these free again. I think we're okay to play it safe. 16 damage again. It's 2 versus 1. There we go. We can see what he's going to do. We can deal some damage. We can heal some life. Jump to the next turn. We got our bleed again. Should we see if it happens at the start of the turn? Try things in, Try things out. Do that just in case. He is dead. Victory is ours. At the tavern. All sorts of stuff. Event rolls. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of your action of the action. Each character will use the card from his own deck. I will try to Okay. You arrive at a nearby tavern, and there you meet Andrian, Regnol's brother. After taking him for a while, he decides to join your... Talking to him for a while, he decides to join your party. In a corner of the tavern, you see a woman who seems to be mage. It'd be nice to have someone like her on your party. Would you like to try and recruit her? I don't know how this number is forming. I will try and convince her. Uh, oh, success. I've got to get less than three, and that's the cost of the card. After speaking to her, she introduces herself as Evelyn, and tells you that she is also looking for the Princess of Senethia. So she decides to join your group. We have four people. Town. Multiple question marks. 62, 82. Ranger. Can we move them around? Oh, we can see all their cards. Okay, bows, beasts, or tracking, fire blast, energy charges, awesome. Alright, town upgrades. You can craft new cards for your deck. Upgrade any cards that you have and buy equipment for your heroes. Also, you'll be able to claim rewards from previous games. Okay, what do we got? Altar, Magic Forge, Church, Zingarian's Cart. An armory. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff. We've only got 300 gold. What can we do in the church? We can upgrade them. Okay, that's so showing the rarity of what we got. We didn't see that before. We can remove them. Okay, well, we don't want to remove a nice rare card. We've got a lot of defenders. Okay, only 30 gold, not much. Alright, we've got Magic Forge. Crafting cards. In each town you'll be able to craft cards that you have previously unlocked for all your heroes. Some restrictions will apply based on your own, by your town upgrades. Okay, so we can craft all the cards we already have. All heroes to gain 9 armor, it's not bad is it? sort them by rarity and by um, cost. We could swap out a 9 for a 5 plus 8. It is literally better because the bleed happens at the start of the turn. Alright. Apply 3 marked. Damage taken plus 1 per charge. Prevent 1 stealth per charge. Remove 1 charge when this happens. Remove stealth from the target. Remove one charge at the end of a turn. Okay, okay, okay. We've got lots of different skills. What's all this stuff? 
We've got Lightning Spell. Gain one extra energy per charge at the start of your next turn. Spark. Lightning Resistance, 1% per charge. Deal one Lightning Damage per charge. <laughs> so the target sides at the start of the turn. So the target side at the start of the turn. Then remove one charge. All of them get that much? Okay, we'll have to work it out as we go along. And Reginald. Healing Master. Okay. We've got Alter. Each card has different upgrades that are more powerful than the basic version. You can make an offer with shards in order to upgrade a card. Also, it's possible to transmute a card between its upgraded versions. The higher the rarity of the card, the higher the cost to upgrade. Okay. So this would be extremely expensive. Don't even know what this does. Draw a card and gain two energy. Okay, it's not bad, is it? Because you get enraged. That would be... What's this? Reinforce. Slash, blunt, and piercing resistance plus 30. Remove one charge at the start of the turn. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Very similar. I guess if it's doing way more damage than 10. Be good. Uh, that's locked. Why is it locked? Okay, not sure what we're doing though. We may well buy some items. Charges. Suffer one fire. The Wolf Slayer. A random hero gains one reroll. Oh, that's what he's got on at the moment. This guy's got nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Uh, lightning damage plus one. Resistance up. Combat, start, gain two powerful, 5% per damage and healing done, plus 5%. Alright, let's just grab some stuff. Um, when you die, gain 20% of your gold and shards. Poison darts into your deck, my goodness. Let's give her the iron wand. Bam. Um, healer. Remove X harmful effects accessory. Every turn, 50% chance, 50 chance to dispel one. All right, let's give that to this guy, maybe. Can't afford it. All right, and then we've got... Now we've done that one. And this one. If you have enough money, the Zingara, uh, Zingara will grant you a div divination card round. In a multiplayer game, everyone will benefit from this divination round. The higher the cost of the divination, the higher the chance of obtaining better cards. I don't know what that means. Maybe gain new cards? Um, Alright, let's see if we can upgrade one then. Cheap one. Easy. Um, now let's... We've got enough. Let's... um. Monster. Front monster. Oh, you can move... You can hit anyone. That seems good. Wait, what? Oh, it costs two. That costs one. I like how it highlights it, because I couldn't see, and then it's like, oh, there we go. Um, I like being able to target anyone. So I'm going to go with that one. And then let us upgrade something else. Foresight. What's this? Mind resistance. Minus 1% per charge. What's all that? Innate. The card starts the combat. Yeah, that's nice. The card is removed from combat when played. Ooh. Let's see. Alright, I think... Oh, it goes zero, it goes to one. Okay, I think we'll leave that as it is. Um, global? Oh, that heals everyone, including the enemy. What's wet? Lightning damage plus one. Okay, bit of combos there. Grants probably uh, shield of magic and shield of damage. Wow, that's oh, cost three. Oh my goodness, there are so many choices. 
Do 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 do. Gain one energy. Gain two energy. Oh, it's a it's a crazy good spell then. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. We're happy. We're happy with what we got. We're off. Oh, town upgrades. <laughs> Wait, can I go back? Oh, we lost it. I'll have a look afterwards. All right. Um, town outskirts, western farmland. Why is this on fire? We've got to go and save the people. We're fighting corns. Cornies. My goodness. All right. Ranger goes first because he has got massive speed. Uh, what have I got? Four energy. So if I do apply mark on this guy, it's not going to be better than just smacking him in the face for 28. But if everyone hits him, I've only got one energy. What's wrong with the little guy there? Maybe he gains it afterwards. All right, let's make mark him. Front monster, monster. Nine, nine, my eighteen. So it's going to be better doing these two smaller ones. And then draw one card, gain four armor. Okay, done. He did. He gained three energy. Draw one card, gain two energy. That just seems good. Um, I don't know what's going on, but he can grant nine armor to everyone. Look, here we go. Do that to the front guy. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does that lose eight HP instead of do take take three damage? Um, so we could kill him, or we could help everyone else. We'll help everyone else. There we go. Okay, it didn't do any extra damage, so that was health, not damage. Makes sense. But he is dead next turn. Oh my goodness. So what do we got here? Insulate. Fire, cold, and lightning resistance plus 30. Okay. So, these are all any monster. Deal 3 damage. That's a very small amount. That would kill that guy, though. Does 1 extra damage? Should it do 2? I like how it gives you an indication of what's going to happen. Um, deal X, 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 X. Is that spending all our mana? think so. That's interesting. That is increasing it by plus two and more by that one. That's odd. Coal resistance minus one percent per charge. Okay. So does this does this hit everyone? No. Oh so it gains start a turn. to your hand size. Should have done that first then. Eight. Not enough. Maybe this guy can do a little... Well, he does a lot of damage. Alright, let's see what that guy's going to do next time. Let's kill this guy. Well, okay. He will die. Um, and he'll die. So all we need to know is what that guy's got. And we can heal this guy. Easy. Deal six damage, repeat twice to a random hero. Deal ten, apply bleed and slow them down. Our oh, front monster only. Grant one inspire, draw one extra card per charge. Okay, look at five cards, then discard any of them. Oh, okay. There you go. You can discard up to five cards. 
discard all those. Um, draw one card. All of these are hitting the front monster. Self, suffer one fatigue. Gain one less energy per charge. At the start of the turn, then remove them all. Okay, but, but gain two energy. Um, I don't think these guys are going to last long, so we might as well just rip through them all. Bam. Bam. Thank you. Ma'am. All right. Apply one vulnerable. 5% all resistances minus five per charge. Maximum of 10 charges. 50% extra. Less resistance. <laughs> uh, and then remove two of them at the end of the turn. Hmm, that would take a while to uh, stack up. And it gets destroyed from combat when played. That seems pretty harsh. But that's all right. We will just throw damage at this guy and I think we should be fine. Gain two energy. Wow. Wow, they've all unlocked cards. During your adventures, you will discover new cards after each combat. All the cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you will only be able to craft unlocked cards. I see. Oh, we can choose one card each, is it? Or choose to gain shards. Okay, gain... 10% damage for free, but it's with a card. Uh, apply slow. That's pretty strong. Hmm. Right click for more info. Shows you the upgrade paths. I guess one stack would remove two charges at the end of turn. So you'd have to use it that turn. Okay. Wow, there's a lot to go through. That's why it's a four-player game, so you can check yourself and pick what you want. Um, let's go with the defense for now. Game one, stealth. Damage and healing is plus 20% per charge. And not targetable. Okay, it's kind of cool. Deal six damage quickly. Or gain is plus one, two sp speed plus two per charge. Okay. Front monster only, that's a pain. Can we upgrade it to be not front? Yes. Okay, let's grab that one. Shadow. Resistance, minus one per charge. My goodness, let's just do a big fireball on its face. Um, purge. Purge, fury, insane. And inspire. Good gracious. Okay, suspicious hatch. What? Oh, it's hatching the actual thing. Um, a water mill is a boss. Let's see if we can get to a boss. I we'll have to speed things up a bit. What have we got? Scorch fields. Crops on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burned field and a burning house. In front of the house, there's a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Well, cornies seem to be evil. Even half burn, the house may contain something valuable. But you have to deal with the fire imp and cornies first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. We could cast a cold spell to scare the imp away. Hide in the cornfields and attack him by surprise. Group 5 or lower. Wow, so that's impossible. Oh, okay. Sneak away. Attack the imp head on. And surprise them. We're stealthy. Look at that. Critical critical success. You had no problems hiding in the cornfields without them seeing you. We're in the we're, in, we're on fire in the cornfields. Uh, when at least when he least expects it, came out of the shadows and give him a good blow. Pow! The blow is so strong that the imp dies on the spot. There are only two surprise cornies left. Before they recover from the surprise, you proceed to finish them off. We get 80 renown, I guess. That would be renown. Reinforced. 
5k. One extra charge. Look at five cards. Scarb one. Look at them. They're on. F they're scorched. Roasted corny. Oh my goodness. Good golly. Um. All right. What have we got? We don't need this. We probably do need that, but that's okay. We're going all out damage. We're going to rend him. Um, we just need a little bit more damage and he is dead. Uh, we can then intercept someone uh, and defend ourselves. She can throw, what's this, gain it to mana instantly. Energize. One extra energy per charge at the start of your turn. Draw one extra card at the start of your turn. Um, I guess we could try and get him enough damage to uh, take him out. Deal 8. And deal 12. 13. I can count. Um, done. He's dead. Went into a blast of fire. Oh my goodness. Upgraded? Wait, what, how do we know if they're upgraded? Cleave. That was the base one. Wow, came up with upgraded so quickly I couldn't see which ones were which. Um, so we know that this one is upgraded. I can't see any difference. We're taking the upgraded one. Just quickly checking. This is the upgraded one. Oh, there we go. It's blue. Easy, Adam. This one's orange for some reason. Um, what the heck's that? Gain HP and max HP. Read one charge in a turn. Okay. We'll try all these upgraded one so none of these are upgraded we really you don't really have to go kind of a direction don't you either fire we went for a fireball last time um would loot rush into the house and try and get the chest you don't want to get burned we can get burned it's okay we're fine we're fine oh just oh we had to get higher okay Come out safety with the chest, although it's a bit burned. You proceed to open the chest and get 80 gold and 56 for an hour. Item reward. Oh. Why are they all locked? You can choose one of the items or gain 50 gold. If you play it, if you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. A burned item. What? Did we get all of these items? I'm confused. Um, scholar robes. Can you wear scholar robes? Looks like it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let us get fire damage up. That would be amazing. But then she loses her other item, but doesn't give it back. Okay. Um,. Oh, it's one each. Okay. Um, you can have resistance. You can have that. Oh, that swapped out his other one. Okay. All right, let's get to the boss. And all... Yeah, because we missed the boss then. Let's have a look at the boss. We've got some cornies and... A... Why is the gardener against us? Oh, my goodness. A farmer. He's been possessed. Look at his eyes. Okay. Fair enough, mate. Suffer fatigue, one less energy next round, but gain two this round. Well, if we kill someone. Oh, he got hurt there. Front monster. Deal 10, apply, bleed, and slow them down. Okay, so it, show, it does go behind. May as well try and hit. Look how much damage that gardener, uh, health that gardener has. Okay. Oh, and it shows you how much energy they'll gain. It just doesn't look amazing to me, but it is only one cost. So we could slow down all monsters. I see. 
Why did that seem to hurt me? Okay. We'll grab... We got all defense. Let's keep, keep her energy. She's temperate. I don't know what happened then. 50% extra damage. Um, energize next turn or this turn. Let's, um, we could give him back his energy. Interesting. Um, a single monster gains energized. Is that what it's going to do? Doesn't seem too good. Or we gain energized. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, he should die. I think. He certainly does. Pop, 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 popcorn bursts. Love it. But we're all fine. Oh, 30% chance it dispelled. Nothing to dispel though, mate. I shouldn't be hitting the front guy because there's a lot of abilities that only hit the front guy. Purge all those things on a hero. Okay. Doesn't doesn't purge uh, exhaustion. Well, they're burning though, look at it. There we go. Will that do burning? No. Grant a hero armor and health. Okay, uh, maybe. Gain one block per charge at the start of round, then remove all charges. So that the round's about to end. But, someone might get hit. Regenerate and apply one wet. No, okay. Okay. Apply one wet and heal eight. He's trying to put them out. He did put them out. Mate, he's just on their side, not uh, not against us. But then we kill his cornies and he gets very angry. Um, gain a little bit of defense, gain a card. Gain some more defense, gain a card. That's it. Uh, draw one card and gain two energy. Can't say no to that. Front monster. Eight. Deal three lightning damage to this target side. This target sides at the start of the turn. Start of your turn, so when she has a turn. Is that what it's saying? Uh, or the start of its turn. Front monster only. Front monster only. Here we go, we can do that. Give her that. I think we'll keep our energy. Because I think he's going to die. <laughs> Could be wrong there though. Alright. Um, target sides 9. So that does 19 plus 9 around it. Seems very strong. It does, it does. Um... <laughs> Another four there. Should have used that first. X equals your hand times... Yeah, so that was silly. Just does two damage. Grants more lightning resistance stuff. We're okay. Okay. Alright, that's, that's a very much overkill. But that's... Okay. See what this guy's going to cast... And that's all we need to do. He's got a water spray. Deal seven damage, applies one wet, repeat twice. Okay. Aim him up. And deal 14 damage. Okay. I think it's fine. Oh, he's bleeding. Um... Uh oh, it's his turn. Bam. Okay. So he's bleeding. So we really should just wait and get some healing on us all.
and smack the guy down. There we go. Unlocked, unlocked, unlocked. Um, he needs some damage. He's getting all armor cards. Um, grant fast. Gain one mine damage. Or we, we could have actually got shards. Oh, can I... I can't reverse my order. Fair enough. Um, you're still going fireballs. I think that's quite good. Or should we get some shards? Get some shards. Get some more shards. Alright, let's do the boss. You enter a nearby watermill. It seems empty at first glance, but then you hear a whisper directed at you. Sant, my praise, you are scaring them. Leave, please. Wait a second. If you happen to find a strong venom and give it to me, I will join your group after I finish this job. You can't see who it is, but they're offering something interesting. You will search for it if you get the chance. You ask where to find it. So this is a new character. Voice in the shadows. My own, in my own homeland, Aquafall Marsh, there is a cave full of spiders. Maybe there. Take this, the spoils of my victims. It helps for your search. Thanks, mate. All right. Um, damage and healing done. That seems strong. But he's already got something, unfortunately. He's got something there. Can have a dart pouch. Alright, this guy should have this, I guess. And this guy should have this. This girl should have this. And I guess he can have this. Cool little system. Maybe we jump through and fight the boss just to see what he's like. Alright, let's do it. Let us continue forth, boars. They look a little bit more aggressive. All right, uh, we've got our improved aim shot. Two cards. I wonder how quickly we could take them out. Hmm. Hmm. This one's a bit more intense. Cranking up the difficulty. What have we got? Two more attacks. Front monster. Front monster. Going to need some defense this time. But uh, front monster. And... If we do that, all monsters. That's right. Our healer's got it. Deal four damage, repeat everywhere. Oof. Grant 14 armor. Deal 5 damage. Deal 4 damage, repeat 3 times again. And again. There's spiky boars. War boar. Okay, um, let's give some extra health to our healer, because it looks like he's going to need it. We can hit that guy with a bit of armor. Oh, so it does protect against any damage. So what's the other one? Find that out. Alright, let's deal two damage to that guy. And... Why does it do less to that one? Because he's got more defense, I guess. Alright, what's that healer guy? He's got a lot of stuff. Let's see what that guy's doing. Um, if he's at the end of the round, does this help? We'll find out. Right there. So the star means one block per charge at the start of the round. Okay. Let's give it to this guy, I guess. Um, we can't heal anyone. It's a bit of a pity. Um, so close. We've got to take him out, I think. Remove him from play. Back to our other guy. Grant three speed to someone and gain one mind damage. 
Inspire and Stanza 2, then remove Stanza 1. Huh. Alright, let's see what that does with her. Draw a card, gain a bit of armor. Front monster. 9 it isn't enough, it is correct. Cleave would have been great. But that should be enough. We'll gain some block and shield. Um, let's grant everyone nine. Okay, her turn. She can give someone extra armor. Or we can start killing another minion. Let's do that on that guy. And do that. And do that. And that's all I'm going to do. Their turn. Oof. Wow. Okay. Um, you've got a single heal. Mate, you are supposed to be a healer. And you've... Um, not helping as much as we need you to. Let's give him t a lot of stuff. Do 10 damage to this guy. That's it. Do 20 damage to all heroes. Oh, we're in trouble. All right. Um, apply a mark to this guy at the back. We'll suffer and gain extra armor. Front monster. Front monster. Dead. Oh, hopefully he'll be dead. Gain a bit of armor. This guy can't... This girl can track. Let's not get armor. Let's get all the rest. That's it. Okay, so he does lightning damage to everyone else but him. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Alright, draw a card. Gain stuff. Kill the front monster. Dispels broken armor. Crack, blunt damage. Gain seven shield and three of that, which I've forgotten. Increases resistance to attacks. Um, just do that. She's hurt. Oops. All right. All right. Bring on the damage, lady. Um, let's hold it, hold it, because we need to heal some people. Uh, X equals your hand, grant one bless. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. This is better. Global, heal everyone. <laughs> Seemed to hurt him. <laughs> uh, and heal yourself, mate. That's all you need to do. Oh, you can only reveal one. That's fair enough. Anything will do. Take them out. Upgrade it. Upgrade it. Wow. That's a lot of mind damage. Um, apply to burn. Gain armor. Mana shield. I want stuff that's... Oh, all monsters. Multi shot. That sounds good. Uh, enter the forest. You are entering the northern part of the forest. The fangs gate, fang gates guarding the bandit camp stand before you. And the path ahead is not will not be easy. Now is the perfect time to rest or prepare for battle ahead. Remember that you don't have much time to spare, so you can only do one activity before continuing. What will it be? I can take care of an injury and try to heal us. I found a forest trail here. Maybe it can lead us directly to the bandit camp. Being near a bandit camp, you can surely find some gold or shards. Or everyone takes 30%. So he will completely heal us, or we can heal 30% on... One character, or all characters maybe? Or we can find some gold and shards. Hmm. 
We could be in trouble if we don't heal. We'll, we'll be here. We'll be safe. We'll, we'll be safe. We're refreshed. We got two more runs, or we could go up this way. We'll go directly to the boss. Whoa, jeez, Louise. They're not letting us down easy, are they? All right. Um, let's get this guy out of the way. Decent, decent. Should have checked when he was going, because now he can't even get attacked. Ugh. Um, let's punch someone in the face. <laughs> All right, use them. Gain some armor. Punch him in the face. Damn it! We should have uh, figured out what was going on there, maybe. We'll use it all. Let's just hope it gets this guy a lot. Okay. Lowest HP. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, this is a good one, but we're still not going to get him, unfortunately. Let's do it. He blocks all of it, though. Um, this will be good as well. Put it on the highest guy, I guess. Do, 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 do. Start getting some more damage through. Next. Alright, what do we got? Big damage. Dispel and heal for a decent amount. Um, I think we try and kill that boar, maybe, 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 maybe. Now we'll kill this guy, and then we'll grant maybe this guy a bit of armor. Heal fifteen. Ah, oh, all that work I did on that guy. Alright, he's out of... Wow, lucky I did put an armor on him. Okay, um... Front monster. Do a bit of... Wow, that took all of his stuff away. Fair enough. So what happens when you use sprint at the start? Okay, uh, any monster... Can we do both of them? No. No, we can't. I think this is decent. Can apply it vulnerable to all of them, which all resistance minus ten. All right, guys, you're all the damage dealers. I'm the tank. Ah, oh, mate. Ooh, ten percent extra damage. All right, what do we got? Grant a hero two energy. Grant another hero to energy. And she lost all her energy. Alright. Um, see if we can kill this guy because he's buffed up. Something hurt him. We can apply this to this guy maybe. Purge one, deal four. Purge one, remove X benefit effects from those specified. Oof. Deal 8 damage and apply 4 burn to random hero. Alright, let's heal himself. Let us grant shield of warding to himself. And let's see what this guy will do. Okay. Lightning! Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Grant 14 armor to the lowest health minion. Deal damage to everyone. Ow. Ow, ow. Damage is coming in quick and fast. Deal 6 damage to all. No, let's do that. Let's do 6 damage to all, which will be 8 on him. Oh, and he will die if we hit him with something. Five, six, seven, eight. Eighteen damage to him. Jeez. 
hit and run. All right, what have we got here? Eight and eight, 16, 17 damage there. That would do, oh my God, we're, are we just a one away every single time we do anything? Hmm. Um, what have we got? Two attack left. This would kill this guy, let's do it. What weapon do you want? Um, I think we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Ow! Wow, we're in trouble there. Alright, let's get enraged. Defend ourselves. Kill him. Uh, intercept some damage throughout. Wait, the sh oh, that will go through the shield. That's cool. All right, that guy's dead. This guy's dead. Um, front monster only. That's annoying. All right, that guy's dead. I like it. I like it. Uh, grant someone a shield for next turn. All right. Oh. Uh, let us grant regeneration to everyone. No, 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 no. Deal 26 damage and apply mind resistance. Go insane. Look at that. Purge, fury, and all those kind of things. HP at the start of your turn, then remove one charge. Alright, alright. Ow! The amount of damage coming through is pretty hard. Alright, we need to kill this guy as quickly as we can. Ow, ow. My goodness, we're gonna die, I think. Oops. Right, let's put that on someone. Okay, no other healing we can do. I think we just end it. Uh, no, we can't. We should be able to kill him with the other guy and get a little bit of healing in. Dangerous. Dangerous times ahead. Let's do four damage to him. Hopefully he'll have a single attack spell. I oh, got hit again though. He does. We can heal our warrior for a very, very small amount. Oh, goodness. Sneak peek. Um, target side's 10. That's good. Uh, courage. Mind, holy, and shadow resistance up by 30%. Deal X, mind, equals the amount of vision you have on someone. Interesting. Okay. Uh-oh, boys. What if we go up here and see if we can heal? Is that a smart option? When entering the bandit camp, you see a really big werewolf yelling and giving orders to other werewolves. He notices your presence, looking, looks at you with mocking face. That's Yoga, the Butcher of Synethia. And he has been terrorizing Sinethia's Boris for a long time. It's time to put a stop to Yoga and disperse the bandits once for all. Right now, trying to escape will only make things worse. Uh-oh. Jeez. Just reason, yeah, reason with him. Yoga! Well, well, if it isn't Captain Magnus in the flesh. Oh, wait, this is Yoga. Well, well. If it isn't Captain Magnus in the flesh, do you think your fancy words will change my mind? I see you're still as foolish as ever. You don't seem to remember who gave you that scar. This time I will kill you and take the wolf's slayer with me. Fortunately, you had time to prepare for combat while he spoke. Uh-oh. It's a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Uh, 
Um... Ooh, golly gosh. Good golly gosh. It's got 30 armor at the moment. This is next turn, though. Um... Um, do we shield or do we gain extra energy next turn? I think we shield. Ah. What is he going to do? Summon a sharpshooter. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. What? What the heck's happening here? Um, armor goes away at the end of turn. Alright, what do we got here? What do we got here? Let's heal everyone. I think that needs to change <laughs> from a getting hurt animation to a um, happy animation. Alright, um... My goodness. Oh, I guess he's not going to do that again. Let's kill one of these guys. Oh, goodness. Um. Wait, wait, why can't I? What's going on here? I think something's stuffed up with this one, but I want to target that guy. Oh, requires stealth? Oh, my goodness. How do I get to stealth? I thought I gained two stealth for doing it. Well, now. I can't go into stealth yet. Okay, um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's good. She needs that. Um... Let's get rid of that, I guess. Alright. That's all I can do. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This is going to kill us before we even get to the boss. Oh, my goodness. What are we supposed to do here? Goodness, oh my goodness. Alright, um, I should have done that first again. I'm so slow at that. Alright, we're going to try and kill this front guy anyway. Uh... But then this is doing to the target side. Oh, now I'm reading it properly, so I should have done it all to that guy. Then would have hit both of them. I see. Why is this guy getting hit for more on everything? Ah, oh, because of this thing here. Alright, we need to heal. Oh, he got no health. Fifteen. Sixteen. That's it. Uh, I'm doing this badly. I'm doing this badly. Alright, let's take this guy out. Even though he is helping us with 6 or 7 damage. Um, um, all monsters 7. It's not going to be enough, is it? So I'm going to do 4 damage to him? Because of this? Yeah. That'll do 6. This will just kill him. Alright. He's dead. We need armor. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh! Good golly. Alright, what do you got for us? 
purge all things we don't need. Here we go. Let's um. Let's um. Apply this to this guy. Ten damage into his armor, though. Oh, we're not looking healthy at all. Oh, it's hard enough killing his two front guys. If he summons them again, we're just screwed. Should have done that. Put that on that guy now, I guess. Um, oh my goodness. Gain 50% extra damage. Oh my goodness. Your team survives, you will re resurrect with 70% of your total life. But remember, nothing comes without a price. You will carry this stigma for the rest of your life? Oh my goodness. What's a life? A run? He summoned another one? Oh gosh. This is just mocking us. Mocking us. Oh my god, he didn't, he doesn't die ever. Alright. He's full health. <laughs> uh, okay, so we learned that we have to kill him before anything else, I guess. This seems slightly difficult. Slightly difficult. What happens here? Ah, interesting. Oh, here we go again. Jeez. Um, no one's even close to each other. No one is even close to each other. Oh my gosh. He did that in the wrong order. Um, we can't get stealth. Okay. I think we're about to die a horrible death. It's interesting that you put him there and I can't hit the back run. Oh, it's bleeding, not anything else. She's dead. Alright, what happens when we all die? <laughs> The rangers got this. Is there a retreat button? <laughs> reload combat. Oh, you can reload or you can resign. Alright, we'll see what happens when we die. If we kill someone, does that make us better? 15 plus 9 is 14, 23, 24. Yeah. No, I got it all wrong. There we go. Sometimes taking a different approach is key for success. Do you want to retry combat? No, we're fine. Unlocked cards, 59. There we go. Final score, 760. Interesting that you can restart combat each time. Kind of cool. I probably could have tried that again, but um, yeah, we're just checking it out the game, see what it's like. It's my best score. Don't diss me. Um... We got some extra money and some extra uh, crystals. There we go, guys. That is across the os obelisk. Pretty cool. Very enjoyable. Lots of in lots of depth.
to all the cards and stuff and you got that whole town to discover um do so we have a quick look at the um the town there let's have a little quick look at that town uh, at the end of an adventure, all the characters in your group will get experience points. Each rank will award you with perk points. You can spend those by buying upgrades for them. Oh my goodness. You can gain, start with an extra 100 gold. Gain extra 8 extra life, 1 extra armor. Prevent 1 damage, remove all charge at the end of turn. I don't know what this means. Every time we get armor, we get 1 extra armor, maybe? Do, 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 do. Interesting. Why would you want this when you could have this? Interesting. Uh, this goes down by two, I guess. You can get skins for them, make them look cool. The ranks, all his cards and stats. Or we can get special cards. Okay, all sorts of stuff. There we go, he's got extra armor. Is he? I don't know. Ah, oh, available points, there we go. He has now got extra armor. Oh yeah. Reveal one card, remove one charge. I'm not sure how this works in the game. I'm guessing it increases it by one when he uses it. Speed down, extra block. She could be a lightning person. What does he got? Healing, healing up. Okay. Then we begin adventure. Act one again. So if we look at the town here, we're just gonna look at the town upgrades. With supplies, which is probably maybe the end boss, we can, the common cards available for crafting are increased by two. The cost of, Transforming is minus 20%, 25%. That's pretty decent. Removing cards in the Tarding Town is free. Wow. Pretty cool upgrades. 30 or more supplies spent, and then we can get even better stuff. Okay. Definitely roguelike thing. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, White Falcon out.